Okay, g'day guys, uh, Andrew Dwight here. Look, I'm going to talk to you about how to add cost information to uh, a BIM model in Plusbeck. It's a really valid question that Michael's asked in the forum, but I think it's uh, there's something in it for everyone. Okay, so I have an existing wall here. Now it's a group of things inside of a wall. What I'm gonna do is I'm just going to click this button up here and create a whole heap of scenes, which essentially uh, how we lay out, or, or we can go through a job. Uh, so Plusback is organized, okay? So basically, it's organizing things for you, all right? So when I look at all, I'm, that means I'm looking at everything inside of the model, but if I just wanna look at structure, I can now look at the structure. And one of the question was, was nominal size. So for instance, in the USA, uh, a two by 10 is nine and a quarter by an inch and a half. So uh, you can't buy, unless you're using recycled timber, that old timber anymore. So I think that uh, it's a good thing to know uh, that, that Plusbeck is doing that for you. But the question was, how do I associate cost data and save it to the model? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this component or group of components and I'm going to go to my dollar sign here. Okay, it went through everything inside of that group and it, you can see here that we have the insulation. So I can go set price on my insulation. I've already put in a price. These are just indicative prices that I made up out of my head. So don't go put them in a job. You can put your own prices in and you can say, well, I want them to estimate in feet, inches, millimeters, centimeters, whatever it might be. And you might also want to put in a labor price. So I've just put in a dollar a foot. Now, obviously, that's going to be expensive and you don't do that. Okay, and if I said to the next one, I want to set my price on my lumber, you can see that I've got a dollar fifty a foot and you would change it to suit whatever it is. And I know these prices aren't realistic. Uh, and a dollar fifty a foot to fit it. So, you know what, that house will cost you a lot of money. Uh, uh, my internal lining, so let's have a look at that. My internal lining here. It's come up with an American gypsum classic uh, gypsum, classic Rob gypsum. I can go in and set a price. And it's in square feet, you'll notice, because that's how we would quantify that. I also have my brickwork, which is in square feet, uh, and my brick hardware. So, you know, it might be wall ties or whatever. You can put in your own allowances to those. And I also have flashing. So what would I charge for flashing? Now, what I'll do is I'll just do an estimate now on this. Okay, so I'm going to go here and do a takeoff. Right, and if I now go to my individual things, I can go through and say, okay, uh, my brickwork, the price that I put in there per square foot is $3.25. Uh, and, and here's my total price of everything that's inside of that wall. And my fit price is here. So it's calculated the amount of square feet in this wall and it's done that takeoff for me. Let's go back and change the price of this brickwork. So I'll just go back. So I'm going to go to my Acme and I'm going to say, well, you know what, that price, we've just had a price reduction or whatever it might be. And I'm going to say it's $1.27 and the install price is, uh, I don't know, $5.50. Okay. I can go down to the bottom here. If I want to make it a one-time value, I simply close the dialog, which means it'll only save it once. But if I go save and update price data, You'll notice it comes up with a little thing that says price data saved to hard disk. So I go OK. And I close this down and I'll go and do another takeoff. You'll see that we have two takeoffs there now. Uh, so here's the original takeoff. I'll go to my brickwork here. OK, and you'll see that my unit fit price is different to what it was in the original. You see it was $750. It's now $550 because I changed that. And it will remember that for next time. So when you're drawing anything, so whether it be a roof, and we might choose a material we want to put on the roof. So we might say, well, let's go down and we're using slate at the moment, but I might make it metal. And we can choose the color and the cappings and so on. Uh, okay, olive. And the capping will be olive as well. And my gutter will be black. You can create your own materials for these as well. And it's got ceiling insulation uh, and fascia gray. I can go submit. Now when I select this and go to my price, or my dollar sign there, it's gone through and I can set the price for the olive metal roof. And I might say, well, it's, uh, I don't know, 
$4 a square foot and to install it, it might be the same, right? And my eaves of feet lining, because underneath here is a lot of information going and getting drawn in there. I can set those prices, but I'll just leave this olive metal roof in there and save an update price. It means it's going to save it to my hard disk. So it's saved inside of Bluspeak and you can update it when you choose. Okay, I'll go and do a takeoff now. And now if I go to my roofing, olive metal roof, I've got $4 uh, uh, to purchase and $4 to install. Therefore, I have $4,896 and I can have a total price down the bottom of everything else that's associated with it. So essentially, we are making it very easy for you to add prices and in the future we are coming up some really cool things that will make this even easier for you. I hope that helps out with your question. Uh, if you have any uh, comments or any other questions, please feel free to ask. Uh, like the video if you think it's cool. Cheers.